What's going on, freaks? Can you guys hear me? Or I need something in the background. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. There you go. Hey, what's going on? It's been a it's been a pretty rough day for me here and some other people. The uh, I don't know. It's hard to even talk about, to be honest with you. But uh, you know, Jen H, one of the moderators that we had here, she passed away this morning at eight. And, uh, you know, I've been communicating with her for, I mean, she's one of the, the nicest people you'd ever met. Um, just always cheerful when she, just no matter when you talk to her, you could be, I mean, <laughs> she'd have days where she was absolutely miserable and be so kind and nice back. You know, some of her worst days were when she was, you know the trolls that are always trolling me where she would feel like god ah, great what are they what are they doing because she uh, i mean it's just the worst <laughs> it's a horrible day for me and a lot of you guys i know that you know so it, it sucks it, it's weird how even the trolls have an effect on you know other elements of the world you know it's like uh horrible so you guys should be ashamed of yourselves too i mean i remember she'd always email me about it she should be focusing on herself, don't you think? So anyways, uh, let's see. I mean, I've talked to her probably four times on the phone. Um, she told me, I think three weeks ago, she told me that the... And she, I mean, I gotta, <laughs> it's hard for me to talk about it because I know how hard she fought. She was a absolutely just a fighter trying all these different things she's going to go to this place and this place and just try to keep fighting she really 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 wanted to live okay i mean she wanted to live more than i mean it was just unbelievable so we'd have these conversations and i'd be you know she'd be saying these things and then like what she was doing and everything and like hey i'm really positive i think i think i can i'm going to do this you know you know, but inside I was, uh, you know, I, I, I've hoped for it. We tried to do the praying thing on the show and and everybody was, uh, you know, everybody put the freak hearts and the prayer hands and everything. And, you know, just sometimes that makes you think God doesn't exist, you know. It's like, why would you, why not take out one of the really shitty people in the world instead of somebody like her, you know. That's when you go, man. Really, it's, it's all for something. Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know, man. <laughs> but uh, I hope there is one. <laughs> you know, some of these moments like this make you think that, though. I mean, she really was one of the nicest people you'd ever met. So you know, let's see, what was it? Uh, probably two, two and a half weeks ago. She said we were talking, and she said, well. They don't really, they don't have anything else they can do, so they're just going to try to make me comfortable at home. But I, I, I feel positive. I think if I, you know, and it's like, oh, man, I knew in my heart that, that well, that's just, you know, it's like hospice care at that point, and you're just sort of waiting. And then I talked to her on my drive to Indiana. I called her up. Uh, I don't know if it was in Oregon or whatever, and I talked to her, and she still sounded sort of upbeat, but she was really feeling sick all the time. She couldn't, um, and she just, would, you know, vomiting, I guess, and she said, if I can just control that, I think I can, you know, we talked for, we were in the car, she even said hello to Chris, you know, we were talking, and, and then, uh, you know, you know, you get busy on your trip and everything, and then I come back, and then yesterday I tried calling her. There wasn't an answer. And then today I tried calling, and her mother 
or her father answered the phone and I just knew immediately that that's not going to be good. So then after, you know, I, I said who I was and he was like, oh, okay, yeah, and then transferred me to the mother. And the mother was saying how she absolutely, like, adored the channel, loved me, and, like, what I, what I stand for and what we do here, and loved all the freaks, and, and it just went on and on and on. Her mother said all the stories she would say and how upset she'd get when, you know, like, people, you know, I mean, she said how upset she'd get when I was being attacked by, you know, the crazy trolls out there. And, you know, that just makes me disgusted knowing that. That these idiots out there created a situation where she didn't have peace that whole entire time, you know? I don't know, it makes me more angry at them. I wish I could just, you know, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. It's just... So she was, that, that's what they said, and I said, hey, you know. I just let him know how horrible. I, I, earlier, I was in. I had tears in my eyes. Okay, I can just tell you that. Right now, I'm sort of struggling, trying to think differently and not do that. You know, but uh, just the stuff that the mother was saying was so amazing. You know, it made me feel really proud. You know what it, what we do here and everything. And <clears throat> I said, if you need anything, uh, let me know. And by the way, I don't know if you guys remember a few weeks back, or I was talking about starting a scholarship fund for the freaks that are pass away. Hey, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to send in super chats or anything like that. I wasn't coming on here to get super chats. In memory of but thank you. Um, yeah, so I was thinking of starting like a scholarship fund, maybe if we can come up with it would be the same thing. Uh, I, it just wouldn't be um, a charity that we're donating to. I would keep it in a probably like a Roth IRA that I, that's blank now because I used it and just let it sit there. And then at the end of the year, figure out um, some you know young students that want to go into criminology or you know something like that, where we give them money every year and it's for the fallen freaks, right? I think that'd be kind of a cool name for it, like the Fallen Freak Scholarship Fund. And uh, that's something I would just take, do the same thing, like at the end of the month, put like, you know, 500 in it that month, next month, you know, just put 500 in each month, maybe make it $6,000 a year, right? Isn't that right? Yeah, mathematically. So what do you, what do you think of that? The only problem I don't know how is to, where, how do you go out about finding the people to, you know, that would get the money for the school. I think it'd be awesome because right now we have, you know, as uh, crazy over the years, three different moderators. I think it was Stephen Bashir's, Sassmer, and now Jennifer Hamrick. That's her name, right? Yeah, uh, Jen H. She just had in there, but her name is Jen Jennifer Hamrick. So. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks, Carla. I mean, it's, it, it's going to be the same thing on the channel. Like when we're doing, at the end of the month, I'll just be putting that in there. And I, I was saying that on the show a few weeks ago because I, I thought maybe she heard that. At least she'd have some, oh, wow, something in my name. You know, I didn't want to say it was for I've known that she's in a really bad situation um, currently. I mean, was you know a horrible situation. And I didn't, I didn't share it on the show. It's not really. Thank you. Yeah, it's weird. It's like um, <laughs> I'm on the verge of like getting really sad every second. You know, when your nose starts to, it's like yeah, okay. I was, I've already been sad today, like the whole day. The whole day wasn't fun, you know, it's just sort of a... You know, the same, I mean, I, I felt sort of proud, too. Like, she loved all of us so much. Thought our, what we're doing is so amazing. She hasn't been here for a few weeks now. You probably noticed that. There's people in the chat that have asked, 
hey, how's Gen H? And I really, I'm not going, I'm not going to lie to you, so I'm just not answering the question. Uh, but man, what a crazy, you know, you get, and you call over there, and, you know, immediately when the dad answers, you know, something bad has happened. Apparently, though, what the father, or the mother told me was that she died gracefully as well. I mean, that's a perfect word for her, you know, just total grace. Like, even you know, when she's feeling horrendous, she's able to think about another person. I, I don't know how people do that. You know, when I'm miserable, I'm just like, I'm pouty and mean and just an idiot, you know. So definitely something to learn from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I was just, I hated hearing, like, she would describe what how she was feeling. And I was just like, God damn. I mean, they couldn't, you know. She wanted to try this other technique, but they weren't even able to get to that. You know, and she was just such a amazing <laughs> god. I have so many emails from her. We, like we emailed all the time. She sent me pictures with no hair on her head and stuff, and she still looked pretty damn good even with that. You know, so it was just uh, she was just really. Yeah, here I'll show you. This is what this is her. Right, let me show you a picture of her. All right, if you don't know. So that's her right there. So she sent a picture with no hair. She ended up having like a wig for a while. And uh, there she is. That really just amazing. She looks exactly how you picture her being as a person, right? I mean, just awesome. Man. Ridiculous. I mean, why would somebody like that? I mean, for the people who knew her and have talked to her, I think that um, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, she is just... <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how many of you have actually spoken with her on the phone, but just the most happy-go-lucky person. Just, uh, you know, but logical, too. Just amazing. I don't know. It just seems so strange. I talked to her literally, you know, 11 days ago now. And she still had hope. But I think she kind of knew. Like she said, they, they've explained everything. She knew her situation, but she had hope. So maybe uh, at the end of this month, we'll I'll put a thousand into the first scholarship pool, and then if you guys out there could help me figure out how that work, like where to go, I'm so busy all the time, anyways. But if there's somebody out there that wants to sort of be the, you know, like, um, like, hey, you know, this is how it works. We can be part of this network here, and then people submit something. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't really know how that works whatsoever. Yeah. Shit. I mean, let me see if I can. I wish I recorded what the mother was saying. It was just so awesome. It would have made everybody feel better. And the mother was, wasn't doing it. I mean, she would cry and then not cry and just but what I did tell her is I said this is when you'll figure out who your friends are the ones that quit talking to you and the ones that uh, start avoiding and you know after a while say come on get over it uh, those are the ones you throw in the garbage can and then piss on top of their heads right after that and put the lid back on top of it those are ridiculous people by the way uh, just letting you know, that's what I think.
<laughs> it, it is solid advice. Yeah. I know, I know. Isn't that crazy? She was like, man, yeah. She kept talking about stuff like meeting at Crime Con. And her mom even brought that up on the phone. She was like, like it's called Con something, Crime Con, right? She was so, so excited to maybe go do that. I don't, I don't know what you are, Patrick, but isn't this kind of the wrong time to even care about having a conversation? A conversation like a philosophical one. I just want. I just say stuff like you know, like the song Edmund Fitzgerald, right? Like, does anybody know where the love of God goes? You know, and something like that. Like, why would you? It doesn't make any sense. You know. Well, there you go, April. See. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Look at every single comment in here is amazing, right? Mm, okay, Patrick. Well, you go, t you go talk about that somewhere else, okay? All right. Let's see. Can we maybe help her family? Well, I asked. I said, if there's anything you need, let me know, okay? She said they don't really need, you know, they didn't need anything like that. Um, Can we maybe help her family with money for her service or something? Great? Yeah, I mean, I asked even about the service and things like that. I'll, I mean, I said I'm, I'm going to check in again probably tomorrow or the next day. Just to kind of make sure, you know, like see what we can do. Or me, anyway. I'll do it. You guys all remember her, right? She was all she was just in the chat, you know, just so nice to everybody. And um, I mean, I, I mean, literally, I have. Let me show you. The, like, look at these are all the emails in here. It just goes on. It goes to another page. And I kind of wish I could just sort of read through them all, but. Uh, It was always so weird. She just had like normal conversations, even though she was absolutely miserable. Uh, like, what's this one say? I'm still being educated about the trial, but I know it's a less toxic. Oh, it's, it's a trial, not a trial, like a trial medicine. She says less toxic medicine than chemo. It's just that when she stops the chemo in the past, the cancer right. markers go back up. Yeah, you know, like she just goes to the, like, you know, I'm, I want to know what the hell is going on, right? And be supportive of her. Yeah, it's just, uh, I don't really know how to do these kind of things. Uh, hopefully this is just, this is it. I mean, does anybody want to, if you feel like want to call in or something about it or, you know, or we could just read, I can read your comments and put them on the screen, I think. Yeah, Gummo said, Jen was always beyond kind and accepting towards me and was one of the many moderators here that makes GHI chat a truly special place. Jen was always a shining star here. As a sister who was diagnosed with uh, C, seeing her in chat always filled me with hope and peace. In honor of Jen H, I will continue to fight every day. She was truly my inspiration. Yeah, well, do it. I think she had one that was particularly uh, bad. I'm trying to go back up and read some of these. Here I am, so sorry, Gray. My sincere condolences. Well, I mean, it's for everybody. I mean, everybody in here knew her. At least most of the people do. If you're new here, you probably didn't. But she, you know, everybody in here. I mean, LM, you know, she's actually checked in many times, like, hey, how's she doing? And she was so kind and good. I'm so sorry for her. But everybody could learn from her, right, LM? <laughs> I mean, it is true. I could. I mean, I look at, I mean, when I, when I 
see her, I'm like, how in the hell are you doing this? You're like absolutely going through a horrific thing and you're still nice. So I devil, I could learn from that. I know that. I mean, I'm sort of grumpy, you know, not grumpy, but like a curmudgeon, as you might want to call it sometimes. But Yeah, chemo is, as I'm finding out, not, it's really bad. For example, uh, like, you know my brother, Andy? The one that had the, the cancer? Hey, thanks, Mag. Jeez. Well, that'll help uh, what we're doing at the end of the month anyways. for Because this I'm going to start it this month. It's going to go into like a Roth IRA, but not invested, just sitting there. Um, and even if it was invested, you guys can will keep track of the number. And whatever the number is, it's going to be um, what we, we're going to do is build up a scholarship fund for the fallen freaks. You know? I mean, we have a lot of people watch the show, and so, you know, it, that's just the numbers are. Wow, Linda, how geez. Yeah, she was, she was just so awesome. Yeah, I mean, what Zozo said is absolutely true. It's been our honor to know Jen. Thank you, Gray, for bringing us all together as a family. You know what? Every time you type, write something, Zozo, I get a little teary-eyed, so I'm going to quit... Uh, I'm going to quit reading yours. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I'll read them. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, just look at her right there. Yeah. Yeah. So Linda said, rest in peace, Jen H, love you. To me, you're one of a kind. Then we have Angie Zin Zaletta said, too many good humans gone too soon. And then LM said, no words, just paying tribute to someone so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever they ask what they need, I'll try to, I'll help out with whatever, you know, the funds from the channel and everything. We don't need to build up any kind of fund or anything. Yeah, I mean, and I'm, I'm going to leave her as a moderator, too. Like, she'll always be a moderator, just like Sassmare and Stephen Bashirs are still moderators. You just won't see it. I think Gen H would, uh, would watch your show sometimes, too, Chasing Truth. Well, thanks, Mama She13. Uh, Gen H will be so missed. One of the sweetest prayers for her friends, or I mean, prayers for her friends and family. You know what's amazing is her mom is exactly the same. And I told him, I said, you guys did an amazing job raising somebody like that. For someone to be the way, and that, then I knew exactly where it came from. Her mom, who was just graceful too, but you know, obviously crying, but then would stop. But, but sounded very similar in the way that she speaks as Jenda, Jennifer. But what do you think about that? Is there anybody out there that would be sort of into looking to see... I, I think Plato would be good at something like that. She's pretty business-oriented. Uh, to figure out, like, the mechanism to get it into somebody's hands somewhere. Man, so I think if we can do like, I'm gonna, I, I, my goal will be just put 500 in every single uh, month, and that would get it to 6,000 a year. And then I think um, maybe we could, let's see, what is this? Well, we could have some in there already, so we could start it like, um, I don't know how that would work. I don't know when the terms start, but maybe the middle of next year. Um, you know, maybe you even give somebody like a thousand dollars. How would that work? So if we did five thousand a year, I was thinking like every term, 
somebody gets the money. Like 1250 or something. 1500 a term. Or where is there three? If there's three, then it would be 2000. So 6000 a year, 2000 every semester. I think that's absolutely useful for somebody. You know, like, but it, maybe we could make it in somewhere in the sort of forensic sciences area, something like that. So if anybody has any ideas on how to make that happen, but we are going to do it regardless, right? So whatever, whatever it takes, we are doing it. Hey, thank you, Mom 457 Rose and Tracy and EI Rule. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, okay, so six thousand a year, two thousand a term, or we could do have a thousand a term and give it to two different people, right? So then you could have like two people, you sort of shepherd them. Well, that would be just one year, though. I mean, how do you do that? So how would it work? Do you continue on with them for their years, or what do you guys think about that? I mean, some things to work out. It was, it's going to be fallen, the Fallen Freak Scholarship Fund. How does that sound? I will miss you, beautiful lady Jen. Rose, 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 Rose. Because of this channel and you, Gray, I am so blessed to have known Jen yeah. and so many others. She was truly one of a kind. Fly high, sweet angel. Broken heart. Rose. Yeah, maybe it's just like you, it's one year uh, full scholarship. I mean, like two thousand dollars a semester for one year, and then you move on to another person. But it gets them started. And if they get good grades, they might be able to get a scholarship at that school itself, right? And even if they do get a scholarship, maybe it would help just for their renting an apartment, things like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, if you missed what I was saying earlier is uh, Jennifer Hamrick, that's her full name. She passed away this morning. I was aware of her sort of, you know, quote, dire situation for uh, a couple weeks. Uh, talked to her on the drive up to Indiana. And then I got really busy there. I wish I'd found the time to call her while I was there. But I didn't, and then when I came home, I just tried calling her yesterday, she didn't answer, and then today I called over there, and her father answered the phone, and told me that she passed away this morning at 8 in the morning, and then, she, then the father transferred the phone to the mother, and her mother just was like, oh, she just absolutely loved you and your show, and was just so supportive, she would always talk about how these trolls would do this and that and she was just like they so she was so angry at them and and just like loved all the things that we support and everybody loved all the freaks and I mean it just was so amazing what her mother was saying it sounded exactly how she sounds so obviously that's where she got her you know her, her amazing personality from oh yeah yeah, that's a great idea, Kubi. Yeah, let's do it. I'll do that. I'm gonna do that one. Uh, shit, let's. Uh, I'll, I'll actually get a hold of Becky and sort of figure out how to get another brick out there. That's perfect. Yeah, we'll just do that separately from the scholarship. I mean, the scholarship fund has nothing to do with that, but I think that's a great idea. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, how many of you were welcomed in here by her? Yeah, she really was eight six seven five three zero nine. Like I said, definitely somebody to learn from. All of us, right? I mean, there's very few people that. Um, I mean, the word graceful is exactly the right term. 
Like, she's so kind, even under horrendous circumstances. And how anybody can do that? Um, it, uh, I forgot what I asked where you're saying me. <laughs> I forgot what I asked, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she welcomed you guys. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Literally dozens upon dozens of people commenting in chat on how... Gen I know, isn't that amazing? Their lives in some sort of profound way... And like the, you know, I mean, here, here's, the, here's the weird part is I appreciate all the super chats and everything because, I mean, we're definitely going to start building up the fun. But what's going to happen here is the, <laughs> you know how, I, I don't really give a shit. Trolls, go ahead and troll. Okay, do what you got to do. You guys are an embarrassment anyways. Um, let's see. But just know that you, you alone, trolls, actually gave her some of her worst moments. You know, the last one she had. So you can go look in the mirror and be ashamed of yourself, you stupid... I mean, I just want to start cussing, you know? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they, these, these people are... Um, Be ashamed of themselves. They won't, though. They'll come up with some excuse why it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, and she's. <laughs> Bama Forever said, "We are all. We are blessed to know Miss Jen." Couldn't be more true. You know. Yeah. We. I mean, I think on the drive we talked for I don't know 35, 40 minutes or something, and. And she was just explaining how things are, and you know, it, it, the thing that makes me feel the worst is that she kept, she was still optimistic and fighting, and somehow that didn't mean something to some, you know. We all have to know Ms. It seems like it should have made a difference. I guess, you know, cancer is not a good thing. It sucks. And what I was going to say earlier, you know, my brother Andy, who had the, remember he had the tongue cancer and then it spread, but the tumor in his tongue, he, he used to chew tobacco, and it, like, they put this catheter up there and it blocked the blood supply to the tongue and it ended up killing the tumor that was on his tongue, but then it already spread, so then he had to do chemo and chemo and chemo, and the chemotherapy made his bones weird and then his spine started twisting up. Then he lost the ability to move one of his, his foot was doing the drop foot thing. Then he went into surgery just recently. And after the surgery, he comes out and he can't move his leg. And then they were like, holy shit, what happened here? And now he's in there and it's starting to come back. He doesn't, they haven't, apparently he doesn't have cancer in him anymore. But, um, man, that chemo just, I mean, what, it's just as bad almost, right? I mean, it's right on the same level, you know. Who? She was a moderator, Barbara. Jesus. Let's see. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Care 2711. And thank you up there to uh, Cheryl. May her beautiful soul rest in peace. We are blessed to know Miss Jen. So I was thinking of just doing this for like, you know, another 12 minutes and then maybe... I don't know, man. It's just been such a downer day. It's hard to do true crime or anything. Hey, thanks. I don't know who that is. Who's who's the picture there? <laughs> Anybody know who this is? Well, my biological father passed away at 59, so I'm not too far away from there, but he he died from, like, 
like, uh, I think he died in his sleep, but he smoked uh, cigarettes like, uh, you know, like a chimney. I mean, it was just, when we went there after he died, he had buckets, five gallon buckets of cigarettes filled to the brim. So. Oh, is that who it is? Uh, I can't see the name on it. Now, nobody cares about them, Christy. It's just that they have a negative effect on people, even ones that they don't really, you know, necessarily they plan to have an effect on. It just kind of sucks knowing that I'm doing this show, and because I'm doing this show, and she loved my show, and these psychos uh, caused her stress that she didn't need, you know? She definitely didn't need that. Now, I know my show causes stress to, for other people, too, uh, but, you know, it's... Um, They're not struggling at the same time with something else. Yeah. Well, I did get a the map. You know that drone that I used at the bridge, the smaller one that took that great footage. I got the next version, and I, now the new version it actually has omnidirectional optical avoidance. So you could have just I could have flown it right to the crime scene. Would have. Avoided all the branches by itself, you know, but I just got it. So maybe I can do something with that. I just, I just got here in the mail. And I think tomorrow I might be able to finally get into the office. Just might be able to do it. Finally got this board that's holding up the... The, uh, what do you call it? The router, whatever. Who cares? Jesus. <laughs> and, uh, for me, it's quite a bit dimmer, you know? She's always sort of in my, you know, not every second of every day, but like I think of her, you know, multiple times a week and just be like, hmm, man, I wonder. And you always wish you'd called more, you know? I mean, there's a bunch of you in the chat have this, a very similar personality as hers. Uh, really nice people. Okay. Uh, something to strive to be more like. I know. That's what that's what her mom said, Cindy. She, <laughs> she. Uh, I mean, that's the word that she used. She said she adored me and just supported everything that we were doing, and it was just such a great thing her, for her and the channel, and she just uh, you know, wanted to meet us, meet me, everybody, go to Crime Con, all that stuff, and she's not going to get to do that. But hey, go up, uh, meet, meet up with Sassmere and... Uh, Bashirs will do a, a virtual <laughs> crime con up in there, you know. I don't know, man. It just it makes me just feel absolutely shitty, you know. Well, thanks, Mag. Actually, you know, there are multiple other people in here that I think of similarly. You know, they communicate with me and help me through stuff and very supportive and just, uh, I don't know. But I think the best way uh, for us to, I, mean, I think that's just what we're going to do is build up the scholarship like 6000 a year to give to students maybe in the some sort of forensic field or something but 
I need somebody to help me figure out how that works. Like how to get associated with somebody and then make sure that they're a legitimate, you know, candidate. And then, you know, you just send in the money. <laughs> you know, like you send the money to somebody. So I think it'd be amazing, you guys. And the Fallen, we'll call it the Fallen Freak Fund. Uh, the, the Fallen Freak Scholarship Fund. So it'd be F F S F. And if I wouldn't, if I didn't say um, S there, then I would have needed the scholarship myself. Do some of these people have blue names that I can't see? Because I can't see her name either. For some reason. Oh, that's her name. Brutally honest. There it is. Okay, it's not on the in the chat there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the whole. And you know, maybe we could bring in you know every once in a while, send in some money to one of the cancer research funds too. You know, but I was thinking it was just so cool. For a legacy of any fallen freak, right? So even if you're not a moderator, whatever, whoever you are out there, and you were a freak at some point, you know, even ones that have left, <laughs> you know, just consider the scholarship fund part of you at some point. And so I think that's kind of a better way to do it. You know? Yep, as B. Yeah, she's not a child, though, so. Oh, that sucks, Sarah. Chewbacca? Oh, I'll be Chewbacca if you want me to. Are you close to Portland? My sister knows how to set up some yeah. ships. Oh, yeah, she does? Okay. Um, well, maybe you can send her. Yeah, I am from Portland. I live in Portland, but the scholarship can go anywhere. But yeah, I am in. I live in Portland. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I mean, it's a good idea, Tracy. But I'm trying to. I want to do something more like sort of a legacy situation. I think a lot of these charities already for those situations get tons and tons of money but there's people out there that just can't afford to go to school and it'd be kind of neat to um, improve somebody else's life like she did don't you think like Jen H was um, one of the most positive you know people and she made um, you know just all of our lives better so I don't know I think the scholarship fund is the way to go we just have to figure out how to do it how to make how to get the mechanism going and it, it would be just for like one year per student right then you move on to another student and make a difference in their life as well yeah well cool I'd like to do it where it was somebody it doesn't really matter what, I guess it doesn't matter what field they're in, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you're doing, uh, you know, gender studies or something, yeah, we'll pass on that one. But uh, if you do like, uh, you know, just anything else, I guess. It's, sometimes it's hard to find somebody in forensics. Mm -hmm. 38 years in Portland, man. We have a golf tournament, and the money we raise goes to a high school senior football player to help. Oh, that's so cool. So you know how to set that up then, Bama forever? Go back to the beginning of the show, Cindy. You can hear, hear everything. I explained it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe that's not a bad idea. Midnight Gala. 
but I, I sort of want it to be around the country situation. Or, you know, I guess it's possible I could just go over to the high school that I used to go to and says and say, is there anybody here that would like to, that needs some funding to may, even go to a community college, for God's sakes? Because a lot of times community colleges are the, to get a foot in the door. Like if you get good grades there, you can get a scholarship and go continue on. I don't I don't think so, Marissa. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll just call a college and you know, just sort of go I mean a, not a yeah, maybe well a high school or a college and say, How do I set up sort of a, a fund for students that need funding to go to school here? Yeah, so yeah, lots of good ideas. Except, I I'm deciding that I'm gonna going to do a uh, the fallen freaks or freak. Let's see, fallen freaks. Yeah, fallen freaks uh, scholarship fund. Right. So that's what it'll be called. And so that's what we're going to be doing. So wh however we get it to, uh, that's where it's going to be a challenge. Mm-hmm. Well, I started talking about it about a month ago when I knew that, um, you know, Jennifer was in a really bad place, you know, that they were kind of running out of options. And I think it that was, I don't know if it was a month ago, it was like three weeks ago or something. And I thought, you know, if she saw that, maybe she'd think, um, Wow. Okay. Cool. It'll be something in honor. You know. I, you know. Just something positive about where she was going. Yeah. We'll see the picture of her right here. But what you what you see when you look at that picture, just that one right there. If you just kind of really, you know, like if you zoom in on it, like look at look at that 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 soul right there that you see. That's exactly who she was right there. Just that look. Isn't that amazing? Um, you know what? I can't remember what she did now. She told me before. I don't remember. No, I just want I wanna do our own thing. Where we we are giving it to somebody. Uh, well, I won't be able to write it off or anything like that, but it'll just be money that we are sending off to help somebody directly, so they know that it came from the freaks, not some other place. Is that what it was? Cosmetology? Yeah, something like that. I remember when I was talking to her about her stuff, that, like when she would talk about something like that. I mean, I didn't really have much to say about. I think she was even, yeah, it was so weird. It seems like recently she was talking about her job and, you know, trying to get back to work. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and a lot of people kept asking me in the last couple of weeks in the chat, hey, how's Gen H doing? You know, it was sort of frustrating me, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I totally get it, <laughs> you know, that you, you're you concerned and you want to know the answer, but I didn't want to answer the question knowing that she was still out there fighting. But I knew what, the, what it was sounding like. It didn't sound good. It sounded like, uh, you know, when, when she told me, well, they're just going to send me home and make me feel comfortable. And I was like, oh, jeez, yeah, you know, like that. Yeah, you know, that doesn't sound good. But even when she mentioned that, she was like, "But Gray, I, I feel like I, I can, I can still fight this. I'm still positive." 
And that was like nine days ago. Or maybe maybe more like ten. Uh, so I guess we'll just uh, at the end of this month we'll get started on it. Start putting the money in. It does. Uh, it made me, you know, I got like <laughs> I was like actually teary-eyed and um, on here a couple times I'm almost feeling like that, but I try not to to do that. I was in my car. I wish I had actually recorded the all the phone calls now, just to speak to the school board, let them know what you want to do, and a graduation you, and at a graduation you would present whomever is chosen with a check for their college. Fund. Would it be something? That we just you give the whole six thousand at one time, or is it something where you? I guess that's how you. I mean, I'd want to make it sure it was sort of a. What do you think? Like each term. Or it could be, you know, we get six thousand dollars a year and we give two thousand to three people. Because two thousand is pretty good start for somebody, you know. You get in there and get something paid for, or maybe three to two people, and then I wouldn't mind. You can split it up if you want. Yeah, it'd be cool. Like if every term you hear from them, let them like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, okay, here's your. Okay, let me know. Boom, and then you send them the other two thousand or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, especially for like community colleges, there's a lot of people that just can't even go even to a community college where it's cheaper. I mean, colleges now are stupid, right? Like <laughs> 5000 a term. You know, when I was in college, it was 495 bucks a term. And that's what it, what it actually should cost still. Okay, the only reason it costs a lot is because they want it to cost a lot. They already own the schools. They already own every you know, everything about it. There's no mortgages or anything like that. And yeah, books are like a thousand dollars a piece. You know, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, but community colleges are still reasonable. But I, it doesn't matter where somebody decides to go. I mean, we'll have the limit. You know, the money that we have is just what it is. So if it helps them, it helps them. Yeah, no, it is. I think the cost of education in the United States is embarrassing and shameful and stupid. I know, me too, Zozo. Yeah. Yeah. They just sit around and laugh and think they're so hilarious and funny doing and mean. And, and what they're doing is making other people miserable too. My son is in college his first semester at Long Beach, California, and it's expensive. Yeah, no, it's wild, you know. I mean, how could it cost $5,000 a term to go to a college? That's 15000 a year for one kid, and you have a class with 200 students in it sometimes. I mean, really? The teacher gets, you know, a hundred thousand, maybe. That would take, uh, you know, seven or eight students. Uh, so where does the rest of the money go after that? I mean, I know it's just like, it isn't just that one class that they're in, but you've got like 17,000 students at a college paying 5,000 a term. Yeah, that's cheap. Right. So somebody needs to uh, fix that. I mean, I, I tell you what, if there was ever a candidate out there to say, 
we we got to get the cost of education under control. In fact, we're gonna have we're gonna there should be like a different a system where there's colleges that are really good and the teachers get paid a lot, but the students don't have to pay as much. <laughs> you know, like that, that's how it should be. You get really good teachers, the students don't have to pay much, and they get an education in there. It, it should be so simple, but it just isn't for some reason. Oh, we got to charge more because we got to have the best football field. Hey, I got an idea, even though you don't like it. What if we just got rid of <laughs> all the... If you got rid of college sports, the cost of the education would be cheap. And it's funny, too, because what really... You know, the college sports is fun to go watch, but what does it have to do with anything? I mean, we're becoming so dumb as a country, so we might as well, I'd rather have people start learning again. Anyways, who cares? It's so unimportant um, at this point. Yeah, well, that's a good idea over there, Music City Mom, too. And they probably have a lot of people that know what the hell they're doing now. Yeah, some people really need to take a good look at themselves. If the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't open their mouths the way they do. Right. They think they're so sleuthy and just so, you know, they're on to something and they're just embarrassing people. And that's the truth, Zozo. That's the truth. And look at, I mean, that's what makes me... Um, you know, it's it wasn't something I was trying to associate or anything, but the the mother actual of Jen H. Jennifer Hamrick told me that man, she used to be so upset that these people were be attacking you over and over again, and she'd be like, yeah. And I was like, whoa. I mean, in my mind, I was thinking, whoa. So th those assholes had an effect on her life too. Wow. And they'll say, well, it's your fault, Gray, because of the way... No, no, it's not, man. You have a choice. You know, I don't even <laughs> care about, at all about your beings and your lives, but you keep coming and you're affecting other people. Yeah. Could not fathom why the trolls were doing this to Gray. She was the kind... She couldn't grasp it. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the thing is... Um, there, it, it's hard to grasp anyways. You know, there, there isn't a grasping. Oh, yeah. yeah if, I, if I made a video on Bambi, there'd be something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, anyways, hope you guys wake the hell up. But if you don't, yeah, it's on you. Anyways, I'll probably check in with the mother. I mean, it's just all I have is the same phone number. I said to keep her phone going so I can call. I was in my car when I called over there. Yeah, it, uh, you know. Hit the like button so more people might see. I mean, she's such a great person. <laughs> that's crazy, Christy. I mean, that's nuts. See? Yeah. Me too, Mary. Me too. Can you make that? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to make her an emoji. You know. Kind of a weird. <laughs> I might put her face on the thumbnail. I wasn't sure what to do with that. But maybe I'll just put it on there.
Yeah, it would have been so cool to meet her at a at a crime con. But I don't know, you guys. I just told you what I was feeling and thinking and uh, wanted to let you guys know. I mean, I know a lot of you were looking in on her, and she's that that picture. Like I said, is exactly her personality. I mean, you just look into those eyes, and you just see this such a kind person. So, anyways, thanks to the, for everybody who um, supported the channel. I wasn't really looking for that, but I appreciate that. We'll just make it easier to be able to get the get that uh, start the funding on the the fund. And we'll have it on the screen so you'll know. And I don't know how to, you know, like it might be one of those hard things to like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to prove stuff in, in a scenario like this. All I can show you is what our total is and then we'll have to figure out a way that whoever received it gets to say, hey, thank you or whatever, you know. Uh, you know, damn, well, they could if they wanted to, but how many companies would have to, yeah. Very lucky to have someone, yeah, that's what I think, too. You know, but, like I said, I think of a lot of you the very same way, you know. Very, um, uh, kind, nice people. Got, I got lucky. What I, it's weird, it's like, how did I get the those such kind people <laughs> yes they're awesome I mean I, I feel lucky thank you WNC granny yeah yep she was I mean she really was like that that's what I'm saying like you know people in the chat like hey darling and you're never really sure but like I've actually talked to her and she talks and is exactly the same as you see you're in there probably even nicer really I think the first time I talked the second time I talked to her was I, well let's see I think I've only talked to her for the last month or and a half but we emailed for like a really long time talking about like at least for a year or so on her situation and so I finally just called her you know just to sort of see hey you know what's going on and I, I just could tell even like a month and a half ago that things weren't quite you know like she's saying well that didn't work my numbers are really spiked up again I got a, I got this really good program I can go to and I was like oh cool all right what do they think about it? oh they really think it's good shot you know and I don't even know if they got to try that one because it just got really bad and then she wasn't they weren't able they were just trying to keep her alive basically and uh, they weren't able to try that ne next technique it's just ugh, shitty so anyways if everybody could put the prayer hands together for uh, Jennifer one last time you know I mean, we can do it many more times, but, you know, for her today, um, she passed away to, this morning at 8 in the morning, and she was just awesome soul, awesome person, and didn't deserve any of that, and her parents should be absolutely proud that they raised somebody that was like her and was put into the world to make everybody, made everybody feel better, all right, and, uh, uh, she's gonna be missed. I'm gonna miss Jen H. All right, you guys. So thank you all for being here, and we will probably just see you tomorrow. All right. So, um, as I say to everybody, until next time, be safe out there.